Hi YouTube, a special hello to my subscribers. This will be another one take simple video production as usual. <clears throat> wanted to give a, a few pieces of advice. Just go over that the uh, proper name for what people call a PL259 or SO239 or however I may have that backwards proper name is UHF connector these are mini UHF okay wanted to show the difference between RG 213 and RG 214 mil C17D For years, I have uh, been faithful to uh, 213, RG213. As you can see, the braid is very loose. There's only one layer of braid. Of course, your st stranded copper con center conductor. I've used this for everything up to uh, GMRS frequencies. It doesn't work too bad. It doesn't work that great either. This is what I'm replacing the jumpers on the UHF GMRS repeater that I have many videos of on this channel. This is RG214 mil C17D. As you can see it's very very tightly packed silver plated outer braid with a second inner braid that is also silver plated copper. Very nice. The center conductor, I don't know if I can get that to show up on video, is also silver plated copper. The fact that this was marked Mill C17D means that this is the genuine article. This is really, really good coax. And it is rated for UHF applications. I just cut the outer braid off or jacket to show you how it was built. Now, I know a lot of back to this, I know a lot of people don't know it, but from my research and reading the proper name for them are a UHF connector. What's even better than a UHF connector and not quite as hard to deal with as an N is a BNC connector. BNCs are actually very good handle a good bit of power good up to microwave frequencies they're very good connectors much better than your old UHF but as, you have, as you've seen on the uh, UHF GMRS repeater all the connectors on it and its associated Motorola duplexers is all UHF connectors so that's what I have to use. I don't want to make a bunch of nice in connector jumpers and then have to use an adapter. I'd rather just make up jumper cables with the proper. I'll show you the cable that this came from. It has a slight nick in the outer jacket so I just cut out the bad section. Which leaves me with a good piece to use as a jumper you see that Manhattan electric cable I don't really know about that number RG214 Mel C17D so this is the good stuff and it even just feeling how it flexes 
it feels like a really heavy duty cable. It's it's really good stuff. This stuff makes RG two thirteen like cheap look like a cheap imitator. One of the pieces I'm gonna use my jumper in its entirety. Of course I will attach a UHF connector to either end of this. Have another one just like it. I have RG Genuine C17D mil spec RG214 on both the uh, transmit and receive side of the duplexers going to the actual repeater radio. Then I will have uh, that Comet diplexer hooked to the output of the duplexers. Uh, hopefully, I won't have to make a jumper to locate that farther down in the cabinet but if I do I still have about 8 feet of 214 C17D left and I'll just make up a jumper for that probably end up having to use one of these barrel connectors they say to use all silver plated no chrome plated connectors in a duplex environment Since I already have these connectors on hand, I'm not going to go out and buy new connectors. I prefer these. They stay shiny. They seem like they make a connection. This is a silver plated connector. This is what happens over time. Tarnish up real good. And what I worry about, because this outer shield bezel, screw bezel is what makes your ground contact I'm always worried about the corrosion right in this area and you can see the fine powdery corrosion residue it's tarnish I guess because it's a silver plated connector I guess I could put some, put it in some Tarnex or something and clean it up real good, make it look nice and shiny again, but why, when I can use connectors that just stay clean? I'll take you over here and show you the repeater. All these connectors only one of them from the transmitter over there on the very right hand side. It's the only one that's an actual silver plated connector. I take that back to other silver connectors, the other end of the transmitter cable. Every single other connector, including the one going to the diplexer, which is right there, and then silver on to 213 up to the antenna with another silver plated connector so I don't really see the problem the repeater works just fine with chrome or nickel whatever they are so there you have it just to recap that's 213. Two fourteen C seventeen D. Much better. Very nice stuff. Like I said, I would be using BNC or N connectors for all this uh, cabling in a duplex environment, but because the equipment is older equipment and it uses all UHF connectors then of course I'm going to make my connect my cables with uh, UHF connectors um, 
I'm not going to be using the best connectors in the world, but I'm not going to have any adapters, which I think will help. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video showing you the differences between a few things here. Uh, stay tuned for more. Subscribe if you like what you've seen, or at least uh, leave a positive comment down below in the comment section it would be greatly appreciated nobody has commented on a single one of my videos yet so uh, no trolling but you know just the positive comment occasionally would be greatly appreciated I don't really care if you do or don't I end up posting my own comments to my videos if I get bored enough hopefully I'll find something more for you to film next project is getting that tone encoder interfaced with this radio and that will be the paging I guess the dispatch console for the family radio service the family GMRS system I guess I should call it so not to be confused with FRS stuff hope you enjoyed the video have a good day